After years of a secret affair, I made the heart-wrenching decision to leave my husband, only to find myself engulfed in a storm of regret and revelations that questioned everything. Chapter 5 After Years of Cheating I finally decided to leave my husband. Sitting alone in the dimly lit living room, the walls around me felt like they were closing in, suffocating me with the weight of my own choices. Michael's return, standing at our doorstep with a mix of hope and pain in his eyes, should have been a relief, but it only served to highlight the tangled web of deceit I had woven around us. You see, the truth has a way of catching up with you, no matter how fast you run. And there I was, face to face with mine. Michael and I sat across from each other, a chasm of unspoken hurt stretching between us. His voice was calm, but his words cut through me like a knife. Ellie, we can't go on like this. I know there's someone else, I've known for a while. His admission struck me, not because it was a surprise, but because of the resigned acceptance in his tone. Tears welled up in my eyes, the dam of my emotions finally breaking. Michael, I'm so sorry. I never meant for any of this to happen. My voice was a mere whisper, a feeble attempt at seeking forgiveness for a betrayal that ran deep. We talked, or rather, I confessed, about James, about our annual meetings, about the emotional turmoil that had been eating away at me. Michael listened, his face an unreadable mask, but his eyes. They were filled with a pain that I had caused. After I had poured out my guilt-ridden heart, the room fell into a heavy silence. I expected anger, accusations, perhaps even a bitter confrontation. But Michael, ever the gentle soul, simply sighed. Ellie, I don't hate you. I'm just... disappointed. We lost our way, and I'm not sure if we can find it back. His words were not accusatory, but they stung more than any outburst could have. That night, we decided to sleep in separate rooms, the physical distance a mere reflection of the emotional gulf between us. Lying in bed, staring at the ceiling, I realised that my affair with James was not just a betrayal of my marriage vows. It was a betrayal of myself, of the woman I once was, the woman I wanted to be. The next morning, I woke up to an empty house. Michael had left early, the note he left behind short and to the point. We need some time apart to think about what we want. I'll stay at a friend's. Those next few days were a blur. I moved through life like a ghost, haunted by the reality of my actions. The Ellie who looked back at me from the mirror was a stranger, her eyes hollow, her spirit broken. It was during those long, lonely hours that a realisation began to dawn on me. I couldn't continue living this lie. My marriage, a sham built on years of neglect and infidelity, was suffocating me. And as much as I loved Michael, I knew that love was not enough to bridge the chasm I had created. With a heavy heart, I made the decision. I was going to leave Michael. It was not a choice made out of desire for James, or a longing for the thrill of the affair. It was a decision made in the hope of finding myself again, of rediscovering the Ellie who had gotten lost along the way. I picked up my phone, dialing Michael with trembling fingers. When he answered, my heart was pounding in my chest. Michael, we need to talk. I've made a decision. We agreed to meet at a neutral place, a quiet park where we had spent many happy moments in the early days of our marriage. Sitting across from him on that park bench, the autumn leaves swirling around us, I told him about my decision. I'm leaving, Michael. I need to find myself again, to be someone I can look at without feeling ashamed. My voice was firm, but inside I was breaking. Michael didn't argue or plead. He simply nodded, the sadness in his eyes a reflection of my own. I understand, Ellie. I hope you find what you're looking for. We parted ways that day, not with a dramatic farewell, 
but with a quiet acceptance of the end of our journey together. It was the most painful and honest conversation I had ever had. As I walked away, I felt a strange mix of relief and despair. I was stepping into a new chapter of my life. But at what cost? The love I had for Michael, the life we had built together, was now a part of my past, a chapter closed with a heavy heart. But life, as I had learned, was full of unexpected twists. Just as I was coming to terms with my decision, fate threw another curveball my way. My phone buzzed in my pocket, a message from a number I hadn't seen in a while. It was James. Ellie, I need to see you. It's urgent. His message read. My heart skipped a beat. James, the man who had been the catalyst for so much change in my life, was back. And with his return, a new set of questions arose. What did he want? Why now, when my life was already in turmoil? I stood there, a woman at a crossroads, torn between the past and an uncertain future. The path I would choose was unclear, but one thing was certain. My story was far from over.'